tutorials. Did you get the social media reference? Okay. Anyways, um, I was super inspired by uh, this color from Makeup Geek called Cherry Cola. And you know, like I love Cherry Cola, so I figured why not put it on my eyes? So that's what I did, because Cherry Cola is really good. So anyways, if you like this makeup and you want to know how to get it, just keep watching. Um, Alright, thanks. Enjoy. Okay, so we're going to start off with NW20 Concealer to prime our eyes. Um, this will also help cover up any discoloration that you have. Um, that's why I really like using this concealer. Um, just pat it all over, and then we're going to set that with a nice face powder. I'm just using my Kat Von D one, and you will do. Next up, we're going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Caramel on a Sigma E40. Just kind of buff this through the crease. Um, you don't have to be like really precise with this. Just go wild. Um, just our transition shade. Next up, Petal Pusher from Makeup Geek. I'm going to use a Sigma E35, so just a little bit smaller, but still pretty fluffy. And just take that through the crease so we can create a nice gradient. Um, lots of blending, obviously. Next up, we're going in with Vintage from Makeup Geek, and we're going to take this on to Sigma E25, so just a little bit more precise um, than before, and we can really focus on deepening up our crease here. Um, I like to start this on the outer corner, like where I'm going to deposit color first and then blend it through. It just kind of kind of creates a nice um, definition or a nice dimension really to my eyes. It opens them up a little bit more, so I really like that. So just keep blending. Just keep blending. Just keep blending. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we're going to go in with this super shock shadow from <laughs> ColourPop. I love these eyeshadows. They're so pretty and pigmented, but they work the best when you use your finger, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to um, place this all over my eye. You do not have to be super precise with it because we're gonna blend. Like, it's a smoky eye, don't even stress, girl. We are gonna be blending our little hearts out. So place, blend, place, blend. Then we're gonna put Cherry Cola by Makeup Geek on top with a flat brush. Um, it's pretty dense and it's from MAC. I think it's a 242. They are amazing, I love them, and they're just really, there's really good at packing on product. So like I said, you're going to place and then blend, place and then blend. Smoky eyes are the funnest, aren't they? <laughs> so that's just what I'm doing here. Oh, out of focus for a second, not bad. Um, I'm going to place the color and then blend the edges. Um, and that'll just be a lot of back and forth, but just be patient because it's a smoky eye. You want to look, you want to have that smoked effect up. You don't just want this dark color and then this light color. So again, take Caramel by Anastasia Beverly Hills and just blend that baby out. Okay, so this color wasn't red enough for me, so I went in with um, this red from the Venus palette from Lime Crime and just placed that on top. Um, Cherry Cola is gorgeous, I just wanted something a little redder, so I placed that on top and I got the color that I really loved. Any red will do. Um, that was just the one that I had next to me, so that's what I did. And like always, just keep on blending, girl. Blend basically until your hands fall off. That's what I always say. All right, so after you cleaned up and put your foundation and every and your eyebrows on, we're gonna go underneath with a angle brush and we're gonna take Cherry Cola again and just kind of line underneath our eyes and then um, make sure it's really tight on there. And then you're gonna take Caramel by Anastasia Beverly Hills and just blend that out. This is like sort of a pencil brush from Delium Tools. It's great for blending. Then I'm going to tight line the waterline. Um, I hate seeing people do this. I don't know why. It just like really freaks me out and it even freaks me out watching myself do it, but just so people know. <laughs> then we're going to take um, Treasure from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette and we're going to pop that on the inner corner and our brow bone. So, yep. Just blend that baby out. Also, I'm not wearing fake eyelashes because I have eyelash extensions on, so I didn't want to hurt those babies. That's why. Just keep blending though. Um, all right, we're gonna go in with some Rimmel Lash Accelerator for the bottom, and now for the face and the best palette ever, this Jaclyn Hill Cham uh, Champagne Glow palette, is that what it's called? I don't know. Um, we're gonna put Rose Spritz, that blush, on our cheeks, and it's such a pretty blush, but it is very pigmented, so just be careful. A little bit goes a long way. Then we're gonna take Champagne Pop, the baby of the collection, the beauty that is Champagne Pop, <laughs> and push that, put that on our cheekbones um, just to highlight, and as you can tell, I am a big fan of highlight, and specifically this one. Look at it. How can you not be? Now we're going to take Prosecco Pop, Champagne Pop's little sister, and place that on top, and then just blend out 
just, I just love it so much. We're gonna spray with some setting spray and then go back in. I learned that from Kathleen Lights and that will just really make our highlight go crazy. So yeah, then again, we're just gonna blend out the blush a little bit because I just like to blend all the time. All right, so now I'm putting on some chapstick and then I'm going in with Kat Von D's Vampire Lipstick. Um, if you can't tell by my hair and by my eyeshadow and now by my lipstick color, I kind of like this deep red color. It's kind of uh, my fave, so <laughs> that's what I decided to go with. And yeah, that's pretty much the finished look. Pop on your lipstick and you're good, girl. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.